So once you've imported one song, you can carry on importing the rest of your set list, save each song in its own project tab, and then you can navigate the set list using um, the shortcuts that I am going to explain now. Uh, if you want to move your set list around, one way of doing it is dragging the tabs. There's another way to do that I'll show you in a second. So the custom actions for navigating the set. Next tab and previous tab are the basically the same idea. Uh, it goes to the end of the project, mutes all the tracks, stops the transport and moves to the next project tab. So the safety element in here is that when you stop a song to move to the next song, this makes sure there's no audio playing in a tab that you can't see. So if you can see the tab and press play, you can hear the audio. If you can't see the tab and you've, you've moved away from it, it should be muted and stopped. Uh, so that's the same for previous tab other than it moves to the previous project tab. Um, then the play button is go to start of project, unmute all tracks because everything should be muted. Select track one, that just gives you a tidy view of the screen. Unset transport repeat state and uh, remove time selection. Uh, those two actions are a kind of another safety element because the last thing you want is for the loop to be on. So if the song gets to the end and then starts again live on stage, that, that's never a, a good look. So this just makes sure that when it gets to the end of the song, the song stops. There's another level of safety you can add, which I'll talk about in a second. Uh, so the stop is very simple, mute all tracks, uh, stop, go to start of project. So as always with custom actions, all you have to do is add and then either press a MIDI key on your MIDI controller or press a key on your keyboard um, and that will map a MIDI key or a MIDI message or something off your laptop uh, to control those shortcuts. So the custom actions are edited here and then you map them using the add button. The other layer of safety that I was talking about here is when you're at the end of the project, so cursor is right in a project, you can add a marker and put exclamation mark 1016 and that's another message to tell the transport to stop. So that is insert an edit marker uh, again, a custom action, move edit cursor to play cursor and insert colored marker. Um, there is insert marker, insert colored marker, and I think there's also insert marker at edit cursor. I think insert colored marker gives you the option though of, of putting in the, app, the name, naming the marker. So you want it to be, um, exclamation mark 1016 and that is an uh, an action that, that tells the transport to stop so here if we're playing yeah it stops it, I mean it's going to stop anyway because the audio item has come to an end but if you want to be doubly sure you can add to your import shortcut um, this function so um, if we look for this one, edit this right at the end of it, go to end of time selection, and then we can put insert colored marker like that, so that now when we import audio, it will ask us to add a marker at the end as well. <laughs> 